Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. Today we're continuing on the topic agriculture. The previous week we looked at uh, the introductory part of the topic where we saw the meaning of agriculture, uh, the systems of agriculture, we saw the problems uh, facing uh, agriculture in uh, West African countries and some of the solutions. So today we are going to look at uh, the agricultural policies in Nigeria, some of the policies that were introduced by different heads of state to help to solve the agricultural problems facing the country. Now, the first uh, policy we'll be looking at is uh, the Operation Feed the Nation. This uh, was a policy that was introduced by General Lucia Gobasanjo between, between 1976 and 1979, when he was uh, the military head of state. Now, he introduced this uh, policy to help to solve uh, some of the uh, agricultural problems facing the country. Now, some of the objectives that this uh, policy was supposed to, to uh, tackle is uh, to increase food production, ensuring that there is proper or adequate uh, food production in the country, to popularize uh, agriculture, making sure that uh, agricultural sector is uh, 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 or rather, agriculture is well known by citizens of the country and they know the benefits of uh, uh, engaging in agricultural uh, activities. Another objective of this policy is to provide food for all Nigerians. Also, uh, the, the fourth objective is to facilitate agricultural development in all parts of Nigeria. That's ensuring that they end up improving the agricultural uh, sector in the country. Now, as we know, uh, that uh, the problem we have in Nigeria is not that we do not really have uh, policies. There are so many adequate policies, like we will see as we go on, so many policies that were introduced by uh, so many heads of states. But the problem we have is that some of these policies uh, were not uh, uh, actualized because of lack of implementation, which this is one of them. Now, let's look at another policy that uh, was introduced we, uh, the second policy is the Agricultural Development Project. Now, this uh, policy was uh, uh, financed jointly by the federal uh, government, the state government, and the World Bank in the year 1975. This uh, policy also has the following objective. Number one, construction of farm uh, service centers for distribution of agricultural inputs to boost production. They, they, they try to look for a way to, to provide uh, service centers that uh, we help to distribute uh, improved seedlings for, to farmers that will help to boost uh, agricultural production. Now, the second objective for this, under this uh, policy was construction of rural infrastructures like roads and dam. Now, this uh, was to aid uh, the farmers to help them in their farming uh, process, providing uh, rural infrastructures for farmers that are in the rural uh, areas and providing dam to help them to water their crop. Another objective uh, under this policy was to increase uh, the level of extension, uh, extension contact with farmers, making sure that uh, there's uh, uh, the contact between the farmers and, and the government, ensuring that the, the needs of the farmers are well taken care of by the government, so that when there's a, a proper uh, uh, means of uh, communication between the government and the farmers, the farmers will be able to relay their challenges to the government, and the government will look for a way to to uh, tackle such challenges. And the fourth objective under this policy is bringing agricultural services closer to the people in rural areas. Now, these are all objectives that the government uh, intended to carry out under this policy. But as we know that, despite the fact that they had this policy, we still have uh, uh, such problems facing the agricultural sector in the country, which means this policy actually was not implemented or actualized. Now, the third uh, policy that was introduced by the government is the Directorate of Food, Roads, and Rural Infrastructure. The government uh, set up this, uh, this um, agency to help to uh, meet the needs of, the, of, of uh, farmers or to solve the problem facing the agricultural sector. This uh, policy was also uh, uh, set up uh, with the following objective. Number one, to provide rural infrastructure to facilitate food production. Now, if we look at all the objectives that have been listed so far, they always have, most of the policies have similar objectives. So we have different uh, 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 heads of state coming up 
at different times to, to, to set up uh, agricultural policies that have similar objectives and they end up not actualizing such, such obje objective. Now, another uh, uh, objective that this uh, policy was supposed to carry out is to develop small-scale uh, agro-based industries, making sure that there are so, uh, small-scale industries that will help the farmers uh, uh, in whatever they need on, uh, to help them to carry out their, their farming uh, process. We also have another policy that was introduced also, uh, which is the agricultural loan scheme. This policy uh, looks for a way to provide uh, 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 financial assistance to farmers and of providing loans and uh, subsidies to farmers to help them in carrying out their, their farming uh, uh, process effectively. Now, so many, so many, these are just few of the policies that were introduced by, by various uh, heads of states, which end up not uh, solving the agricultural problem. We all are aware of the one that was uh, uh, introduced uh, towards the end of last year, where we have a ban placed on some of the, uh, uh, a ban placed on importation of some agricultural produce, for example, that of rice, where we have uh, uh, the country placing a ban on importation of foreign rice and we're asked to uh, depend on the locally made rice. And we know what we experience consuming the locally made rice. Now, that was put in place just towards the end of last year. But this uh, year, 2020, we can go to the marketplace and we are seeing uh, so many foreign rice and nobody's hindering them from selling that anymore compared to what we had last year, where even the sellers in the marketplace end up uh, looking for a way to hide the, the foreign rice that they had, and they were displaying only the locally made rice. So we can see, drawing from that, we can see that despite the fact that there are so many policies uh, uh, put in place to, to solve uh, agricultural, or rather to improve the agricultural sector in the country, those policies are actually not, not uh, being followed up to uh, a level of actualization. Because we know that if these uh, policies were actually implemented and, and followed up, we would have been having the, 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 the problems we are facing in the agricultural sector. Now, with the present issue of uh, COVID-19 that we are encountering right now, which is affecting uh, made all the majority of the sectors in the country, we discovered that if we were able to, to actualize some of these policies, we would have been having the problem we are, we are having uh, under the agricultural sector. Right now, there are other policies that, that the government is trying to, to carry out to help to boost uh, the economy within this period of COVID-19, knowing the fact that uh, the, the economy was solely uh, dependent on uh, uh, the petroleum sector, which is actually facing issues due to the pandemic. So we have so many issues uh, that facing different sectors of the country, including the agricultural sector. And so many policies have been put in place so far to help in solving uh, all these uh, problems facing the agricultural sector, but to date, we are still awaiting a better policy that will help in uh, boosting the agricultural sector. Now, moving on, let's look at uh, the marketing board. The marketing board is uh, uh, a public corporation that was put in place by the government. We know what a public corporation is, uh, which was explained last term. Uh, a public corporation is an agency, a government-owned agency that, that is set up by the government and financed by the government, and they, make, they are... Uh, major aim is um, uh, the welfare of the citizen, ensuring that uh, uh, they meet the welfare of citizens and actually uh, uh, helping uh, developing the economy. Now, this marketing board is uh, a public corporation that was set up by the government to help uh, farmers in uh, marketing their agricultural produce. The marketing board uh, is charged with uh, the function of purchasing uh, uh, commodities or agricultural produce from farmers helping them to grade and repackage such products and market them uh, uh, to um, uh, uh, people within the country or even export to other countries. Now let's quickly look at the functions of the marketing board. The first function is purchase of farm produce from farmers, which we have uh, briefly explained. They are, one of their duties is to buy uh, goods uh, directly from the farmers and they help uh, the farmers to, to resell such commodities. Another function is uh, the sales of, uh, of the produce or the farm produce that they, they uh, purchase from the farmers. They sell them to industries within the country and uh, also export them to other countries. 
Now, the third uh, function of the marketing board is generation of revenue to the government. Now, if uh, the marketing board uh, purchases uh, goods from the farmers, they will not sell those goods at the, 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 the rate at which they bought them from the farmers. They will end up selling it at a higher rate in the marketplace or even export it to other countries. This ends up becoming a source of revenue to the government uh, of the country. Another function is that they ensure price stability. The fact that they are buying directly from the farmers uh, means that they'll be able to uh, regulate or stabilize uh, uh, the market price. Since they are all, it's not uh, the case where the farmer will have to take uh, such produce early to the market, so we end up having different farmers selling their produce at uh, different prices. But the marketing board will now have to buy such produce from the farmers. They end up packaging it and taking it to the marketplace, so they end up, in a way, stabilizing the market price. Another function of the marketing board is uh, they help in processing uh, some of the agricultural produce before uh, they export them to other countries. We also have another function where they are responsible for the development of some agro-based industries. They ensure that some uh, uh, industries that are agricultural-based are put in place to help in processing some of these produce before they are exported to other countries. The, the final um, function or duty of the marketing board we're looking at is uh, they help to provide loans to, to farmers. Sometimes they subsidize uh, some of the agricultural inputs that they will need in their farmland. So this is another function of the marketing board. Let's now look at the problems of the marketing board. The first problem is inadequate finance. We know that anything that has to do uh, any... Uh, um, agency that is set up by the government usually encounters uh, the problem of finance because it's not really a profit-oriented agency. A public uh, a corporation is not uh, 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 profit-oriented. So the little they get is uh, as a form of revenue is what the government uses uh, uh, in uh, developing the economy. So they usually have the problem of inadequate finance, inadequate uh, finance to help them to uh, uh, pro reprocess uh, some of these uh, produce and export them to other countries. Another problem that the, uh, the marketing board uh, faces is uh, overproduction by farmers. We have uh, so many farmers engaging in agricultural activities and uh, producing uh, different commodities, which the marketing board will have to, to purchase from them and help them to sell uh, to the marketplace. So, if we have overproduction of some of these uh, agricultural produce, it becomes a problem to the marketing board because they will have to look for a way to assist all the farmers to, to sell um, most of their produce. Another problem facing uh, the marketing board <coughs> is climatic uh, problem. Using Nigeria as an example, we know that uh, the country is uh, faced with um, fluctuations in the climatic condition. At times, we have excess rainfall, and at times, we have lack of rainfall. So that becomes a problem to the farmers and also a problem to the marketing board because if the climatic uh, condition is not favorable for, for planting, the, the, the farmers will not be able to produce enough, and the marketing board will not have enough to sell. The fourth uh, problem of the marketing board is the problem of illiteracy of farmers. So many farmers do not really know uh, how to use uh, improved uh, uh, improved seedlings for uh, farming, and they end up uh, producing uh, crops or uh, uh, farm produce that are not up to standard. It becomes a problem to the marketing board because the marketing board will have to look for a way to process such products and uh, look for a way to, to sell such products. We also have the problem of political uh, uh, instability, political problems in the country, which uh, affects the marketing board because when we have uh, different uh, uh, presidents or heads of states coming into, into the system, they will want to make certain changes. The changes might end up affecting uh, the marketing board in a way that uh, 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 becomes uh, a problem to uh, their, uh, carrying out their duty or uh, whatever they need to do uh, on the marketing of agricultural produce. Finally, we'll look at the pricing problem. Uh, we know that 
this uh, the marketing board buys from the farmers and sells to different industries in the country and even exports to other countries. Now, they have a way of stabilizing uh, the prices within the country since they are buying from the farmers and taking to the marketplace. But they, they do not really have an influence over the world market. So if they are going to export this agricultural produce to other countries, it means that they will have to come in contact with other uh, 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 agencies from other countries that are actually doing the same thing. Now, we know that if we are, if, if we are faced, if we are engaged in trade with some of these uh, uh, developed nations, they will end up having a way of uh, producing their own agricultural uh, products in an in a, uh, easier way and cheaper way. So this ends up affecting the marketing board in exporting some of our produce because we do not have some of these means that some of the, the developed countries have in uh, uh, proper production of agricultural uh, commodities. So the pricing of agricultural produce that are supposed to be exported to other countries becomes a problem to the marketing board. Let's now look at the problems of distribution of commodities in West Africa. The first problem is inadequate storage facility. Nigeria as a West African country has this problem. We discussed uh, the problem of storage facility in the first part of the topic, and it, it's al it's, it uh, always comes up as a problem because inadequate storage facility hinders distribution of agricultural produce. If these uh, 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 commodities are coming from the farmers, they have to be a place to store them before they are being moved to the marketplace. So if we do not have adequate storage facilities, it becomes a problem uh, in the distribution of agricultural produce in the country. Another problem is packaging. We really do not have uh, uh, proper industries put in place to help in processing and uh, packaging of most of our agricultural produce, which was one of the problems we had uh, towards uh, the end of last year with the rice uh, production. We had uh, farmers that could actually go into the production of rice, but we do not really have proper mechanism put in place or facilities put in place to help in processing uh, uh, such produce. So we end up having uh, uh, rice that are full of stone being brought to the marketplace. So it becomes a problem. So pa packaging and processing is a problem of distribution of commodities in West African countries and Nigeria also. The third problem is uh, artificial scarcity. We have uh, so many uh, middlemen uh, creating artificial scarcity, hoarding uh, agricultural produce just because they want to increase the price. So it's not that the commodities are not readily available, it's just that they are keeping them so that they make sure that the, they, they inflate the prices of such commodities. So that's another problem uh, facing the distribution of agricultural produce in West African countries. We also have inadequate transportation system. We lack uh, proper uh, transportation facilities to transport most of the agricultural uh, produce from the farmland to the marketplace. So it becomes a problem. Also, the long chain of distribution. We discuss this when we're discussing the, the channel of distribution, where we have uh, uh, so many people involved in the channel of distribution, move goods moving from the manufacturer down to the producer, uh, the retailer, the manufacturer down to uh, the wholesaler, the retailer, and the final consumer. So we have a longer chain of uh, distribution of goods before such commodities end up getting uh, to the final consumer. There are so many middlemen in place, and uh, they are looking for a way to manipulate this and increase the price of such commodities. It becomes a problem in distribution of such commodities. The final problem we're looking at is the insecurity on roads. We have uh, so many farmers facing the problem of insecurity. It might be uh, attacks on the road when they are moving their uh, commodities from the farmland to the marketplace or accidents or so many things that happen on the road which end up affecting the uh, adequate distribution of agricultural produce in West African countries. Let's now look at the ways to improve uh, distribution and marketing of commodities in West Africa. How do we improve the uh, distribution of goods uh, within uh, West African countries? How do we improve the marketing of commodities within West African countries? No. Some of the ways are listed uh, uh, below. We have number one, construction of roads. Knowing that uh, uh, 
uh, prob uh, problem, road problem or transportation problem uh, uh, affects the distribution of, of goods. So if that can be solved, if the government can help to construct better roads from the, leading from the farmland to the marketplace, we help to solve uh, the problem of, of transportation uh, that is encountered in distribution of, of commodities in West African countries. Another way of improving uh, uh, the distribution is the provision of storage facilities. We know that this is a problem, so if we are to solve that problem to ensure proper distribution, we have to uh, look for a way, or the government will have to look for a way to uh, create or provide storage facilities that the farmers can use in storing some of their produce before it's been taken to the marketplace. So this can help to so, uh, uh, improve uh, distribution of, of goods within the country or in other West African countries. We can also solve the problem by reducing the number of middlemen. We know that the long chain of distribution is a problem, so we can solve that problem by reducing the, the, uh, uh, the number of middlemen involved in the uh, distribution of commodities from the producer down to the final consumer. So if this is, is resolved, it can also help to solve uh, the problem of hoarding and uh, creating artificial scarcity. Another way of improving distribution of agricultural produce is establishing uh, uh, more marketplaces, ensuring that the farmers have uh, 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 marketplaces put in place to market uh, uh, most of their produce. Also, another way to improve distribution is uh, uh, establishing marketing boards, which we've explained the duties of, of uh, uh, marketing boards already. So if these marketing boards are established, by the government, they will help the farmers to uh, sell their produce and also process and package their produce for, for export to other countries. Another way of improving uh, distribution also is providing a communication system, ensuring that there's a proper channel of communication between the farmers and uh, uh, the, the final consumer and even the marketing board. This will help in uh, uh, Effective, uh, this will also uh, effectively help in the distribution of uh, uh, such commodities within the country. The final uh, 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 way we can use in improving or we can adopt in improving uh, the distribution of uh, commodities is by encouraging uh, cooperative societies. Cooperative societies are a group of people that come together, pull their resources together for uh, uh, agricultural activities, since uh, this has to do with agricultural sector. So when we have a cooperative society under the agricultural sector, they have to pull their resources together to facilitate uh, production and sales of their produce. So a way of, distrib uh, of improving distribution and marketing of agricultural produce is by encouraging these cooperative societies so that they be able to finance uh, or provide whatever is needed to to pro in the production of such produce and its marketing. The final slide looks at the assignment for under the topic. So the first question is for you to uh, list ways where uh, the government can help in improving agricultural production in the country. You yeah, also to explain uh, any reasons why small scale farmers dominate agricultural production in Nigeria. So you have to uh, answer these questions after uh, going through the different slides and the explanation and submit the answers to the questions as that when due. You are also encouraged to uh, subscribe to this channel for more videos and if you have any comments, any challenge, please send your challenges or your comments or your questions to the link on the slides. Thank you.